Cool, okay, so let's start by, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple things. We're going to download the firmware file for Arduino, and then we're gonna program this with that file, and then we'll connect to it, and we will um, start moving some servos. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, first we're gonna download the firmware for Arduino. So we're gonna go to getting started, and Click on Robotus Open 904. And we're gonna, so here's the steps we have to follow. So obviously the first step is install Easy Builder. Well, I have that, I hope you do too. So don't worry about step number one. Step number two is follow instructions for Robotus to install their Arduino IDE tools. This URL here, and then go into File, Preferences, and then you click on where it says Additional Boards Manager. You can click into here, and you can paste in your URL. So as you can see, I already have it added in here, OpenCM904. So you want to paste that in there. Okay, and so you have, if you have multiple, just make sure there's one per line. OpenCM. Cool, okay. Okay, so now we wanna to go to step number three, which is download DJ's OpenCM. Ooh, that's me. Let's download it, clickety-click. So let's view our file here. There it is. And let's extract it here. I have a folder called Arduino already, so I'll just throw it inside of here. There it is, easy open CM. So we'll double click. And here's our code. Okay, so it's on COM17, so we'll select it. And then we make sure that our board, since we've installed on the board manager, you should be able to find open CM here. Okay, so you can see that I have it selected. I'm selected 9.04, because that's which one this is. And we just push upload, and we wait. You just watch the message down here, and even though it looks like an error message because it's in red, um, it's successful. <laughs> so we have now uploaded the firmware. So we can close down Arduino, and close down our window entirely, and the next thing you wanna do is uh, start using it. So you can see here that it says, if you're using Dynamixel, um, use the servo control. So what we're going to want to do is install the servo control here. So I'll click download this control. And then I'll click here. And now it's installed it into Easy Builder, right? And now we can load Easy Builder. So let's first connect to our controller and just make sure that it works. So we're gonna to wanna to select the COM port from the list here by clicking in there. And then you wanna to go to the gear on the connection control and we wanna change its baud rate. By default, the baud rate on any of the EZBs for serial connection is 9600. That's what Arduino generally uses, but because this is using an STM32F1, um, which is a decently powerful chip, it's got three URTs on it. It's, I like it, it's a nice chip. Um, it, can, it can do hardware speeds very quickly. So we've run it at 921600. Click save. And now we should be able to click connect. And it's gonna connect, there we go. You can see down here in the list, it's connected to the uh, Arduino. Okay, um, so we'll connect this one to here. See if I get get it in here, it's tight fit. There we go. I wonder if we could do any pinging. Find all servos. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's 9, 12, 14, and 16. So we'll go back to here and we'll select um, 9. 
and then we'll go over to here and change this to nine. And let's find out what servo number nine is because it's about to move. Oh, it's the foot. So there you go. So we're controlling um, Dynamax of servos. All of these to this board. And then we can put their battery. This is their battery. I think, I'm not sure how it goes, maybe like this. There we go. And here's our little adapter cable we created. Okay, um, I have a lot of room here. Just remember to get this polarity right. So we don't release the white smoke. There we go. Polarity is correct. And now we can connect and hook this. This is a really handy little adapter I created here. And now we can connect to this. And we'll plug in our USB cable. And it's not a very long USB cable though, unfortunately, but it'll do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do on the Easy Builder is if I visit the App Store, I created under my files a Bioloid app. Here it is here. Now this Bioloid app, okay, we can remove the camera because there's no camera on this robot because it doesn't support a camera. And it doesn't do audio either, so we just remove the soundboard here. But what it does do is servos. So we can connect to COM17. We can connect to or specify the baud rate at 921600, and then push the connect button. Now we've connected to it, and if I hold the robot and push the stop button here, that robot has moved into position. There he is. And then we have this mode here I created called Sloppy Dance. I don't know, we used it last time. Let's try it out. There we go. So now we're controlling um, the Bioloid robot using uh, the auto position here and the Dynamexel controller, or, or control here, on a Roboticus OpenCM 9.04. Mm -hmm.